Okay, so let's try to integrate e to the e to the x solution. So we'll start by writing down the Maclaurin series for e to the x. So we'll call, if you have e to the x, this is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. Okay, in this problem, we have e to the e to the x. So we're just going to replace x with e to the x, right? And we'll do that in both pieces here. Right? All of our x's are going to become e to the x's. So this is e to the e to the x is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. And so this, this becomes e to the x to the n, right? That's our x. Our x is e to the x over n factorial. This is equal to, let's keep going, this is the infinite sum as n goes from 0 to infinity. And now we just multiply the exponents, right? This is e to the nx over n factorial. All right, almost there, almost there. All we have to do now is integrate, so let's do it. So we have the indefinite integral of e to the e to the x dx. That's equal to the indefinite integral of the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity of e to the nx over n factorial. And then we have our dx. Okay, so all we have to do now is integrate each piece. So I don't know if you all know this, but like if you have like e to the nx dx, you can easily integrate this, right? You let u equal nx. So then du, well n is a constant, right? So it hangs out. So it's just going to be n dx, right? Like if it was 2x, it'd be 2dx. If it was 3x, it'd be 3dx. Because it's nx, it's n dx. Now you divide both sides by n to make it match what you have in your integrand. So you get 1 over n du equals dx. So replacing dx with 1 over n du, we get 1 over n e to the u du. And everyone knows that when you integrate e to the u, you get e to the u. So this is 1 over n e to the u. I won't bother to write the c. Well, I'll write it. Okay, plus c. <laughs> it's 1 over n, and then u is nx. So basically, all we're doing is dividing by n when we integrate this. So this is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. And so we have e to the nx, and then this, this hangs out, right? This is a constant. You just leave it alone. It's a number, right? So it's like 3 or 4. It's just a number. So we just divide by n. So we have n times n factorial. And we, oh, plus c. We have a big plus c 